Burton actually did a great job. I think he's going to settle in second or third right here. saying what a great job he was doing well and six caution of the day dag gone what couple I of saw, really good cars you know yeah it's, that's a shame for both those cars having such a great day we just got done talking about jeremy clements and jeb burton damn brought a car off my nose dude yeah we saw it there and and we heard on the radio they don't want guys holding back on these restarts, and you guys can better interpret that than me. But both David Starr and Jeb Burton have been penalized and put to the rear on this restart. That is huge for Jeb, who was doing an outstanding job of working his way to the front. The Burton cousins nose to tail, 10 and 20, sixth and seventh on track. That's Jeb and Harrison. Frustrated, hopeful inspired, annoyed. I felt all of them this season. But the only emotion my team and I are after is the pure joy that comes with the trip to Victory Lane. And we can't experience it soon enough. As one of the most productive agricultural regions in the world, California's Central Valley is home to a wide variety of specialty crops and a passionate network of partners like ActiGrow ready to help growers grow more and more sustainably. So, some of the new products that you're really excited about, can you tell me a little bit about those products? Sure. When Actigrow was acquired by Nutrient Ag Solutions, we became part of a larger family. And that family includes our sister company, Agrison Sciences. And we have a new product called Altura NST, which combines the technologies of Actigrow and Agrison together. Really exciting technology that provides enhanced phosphorus delivery for crop production. There is a whole world of sustainable, safe technology that we're just starting to understand. And if we can unlock the key to that technology, we can provide sustainable food and more of it to a growing population. A trip to Central Valley wouldn't be complete without a closer look at one of the region's top crops. Welcome to Madeira. Um, I call it the almond capital of the world. What we do at this branch is uh, majority almond, uh, help almond growers. Uh, we help them with plant protection and we also help them drive their yield. You get with these growers, these almond growers, you're gonna hear them call them almonds and then, then you're gonna hear other people call them almonds, all right? Almonds. They say almonds, right? Well, so an almond, is, you hear that word and you wonder why the heck they get that name Ammon. Well, it starts as an almond. We got these big things called shakers. They come out here when these, this crop's right to shake it and knock it to the ground. Well, when they get that shaker, they knock the living hell out of it, okay? And that's why they call them an Ammon instead of an almond. We're here today on your farm. How long have you been an almond farm? About uh, 30 years. Okay and uh, started in grapes way back in high school. And as our economy changed and, and the uh, grape business changed, and it didn't become very pr as profitable. We moved to the almond business over years. It, on this one ranch, it took us 25 years to change from grapes to almonds. So do you like regular milk or almond milk better? Uh, on cereal, I like almond milk better. If I drink it, uh, I like regular milk. The bees, explain why you have the bees. Okay, an almond tree, uh, in this orchard is two different, three different, no, two different varieties in this orchard. And they have to use the bees to cross pollinate. We put in two, about two to three hives per acre, but almonds is the biggest uh, user of, of bees. Really enjoyed our time here and looking forward to getting some almonds. I'm, I'm pleased to have you here. And like I said, I've watched your dad and your uncle race for years. I've watched you race and it's a pleasure to have you here on our ranch today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we can make you proud. We'll see it all today at Talladega. Right now we're sitting at trackside 
for the command of fire engine. Drivers, start your engine. Settle in for a great Saturday afternoon in the Xfinity Series. 113 laps at Talladega. A great shot here to show you that. It's our Nutrient Ag Solutions onboard camera. Jeb Burton, second here a season ago. Getting ready to go in stage number two for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Jeb Burton wins the race off pit row. No one stayed out, so he'll be the race leader here. This race will be official, even if we get a thunderstorm and we have to stop the action on track once we get to the end of this second stage. So that's another reason, as you said, why these guys are so aggressive.